Hi, I'm Dan Rodriguez in Barcelona at MWC. Lots of excitement around the show floor. And I'm here with Stefan Lichens of Nokia, the Vice President of Private Networks. Stefan, great to be here with you. And thanks, Dan, for inviting me. It's always good to see you. Last time we met at Phoenix, uh, was a wonderful visit where I learned a lot more about your products and solutions that are coming out. And I'm actually seeing that here, real on the boots. Yeah, it's good trip. Yeah, it's definitely great to see all the hard work we've done together actually come to fruition, getting into the marketplace. And Stefan, we're both working on a journey to really deploy private 5G, but also working with all sorts of different vertical markets to help them realize greater use of the digital transformation aspects they're putting in, more edge compute, but having the right connectivity. And when you do that, we're, we're, we are seeing some different complexities out there. There's different operating environments. Maybe if you wanted to spend a couple moments on the challenges that you're seeing in deployments. Sure. And I think you already highlighted a number of the important topics is that how can you marry yeah. high-end private wireless with high-end computes? Because many use cases are, of course, and the way that for factories and end users, it's about the use cases. I, mean, I think the work what we are doing here is I feel it very much as we're bringing an ecosystem together that can actually bring solutions to clients. And then, of course, um, no, Intel Compute is uh, is head of the floor in, the, in many of the solutions from an end-to-end -end perspective. And then from a Nokia side, of course, our strength is in networking. And turns out that's a really good and helpful combination. Nevertheless, you're right, there's quite a bit of complexity, and I think that's uh, where we do a lot of the development work. How can we simplify it so that we have a platform which enables people to build their new snitches? Absolutely, it is all about really simplifying it for the end customer, making it very easy to deploy. And you've taken a big step there too, because the, the work that we've done together has enabled you to build a very compact design where you can host both edge applications as well as your networking stack on the edge. Maybe you want to chat about that so a bit. We, so, and I think it's, a, I, I would say it's a big step forward because if you look at companies, they are big and small, and even big companies have all sorts of locations. And I think what we did now together with uh, with Intel's VR technology is that we could combine all of it in a single server. So we have the radio, we have the four components that you need, and still we have a lot of space left in the Xeon server to actually run applications. And I think that provides a really good entry point, but also it simplifies the complexity. But instead of stacking different boxes with different types of systems, yes. we can provide the client with a single solution, which is easy to deploy and easy to manage because we manage it as a single compute platform. Absolutely. No, I definitely appreciate the partnership. I think the design is really strong. It's using our fourth gen Xeon processor with VRN Boost, as well as the FlexRAN reference stack. And when you think about your get to market and go to market, which maybe which use cases or market opportunities are you most excited about taking this compact platform with edge, with networking, all in one? Yeah. So, well, first of all, our edge compute platform is called Mixi. Mix, yes. So we're going to plug that one in. Yes. Uh, but, the, but the use case I would like most is where we managed to combine sort of sensor input. Then that sensor input is collected on the edge in a sort of data lake. And then we can run the actual applications there to in real time process that data and translate it into useful information going back to the And what is even more interesting is, is that, for example, generative AI and also all the work that you're doing that actually it connects really well because it turns yeah. out it's a really good tool to help visualize it and make it possible for the workers in the plant to actually nice. consume that information, right? Because I think one big piece that you always need to keep in mind is this, the human is a control. So how can we provide them the tools to make it work better. And I think uh, it has taken some time, but the combination of all of these components, starting from the VRAT, all the way up to these AI accelerators that you're also working on, actually that is the package that we're accelerating this yes. year. And, uh, yeah, and if you're, you know, I'm always very enthusiastic about cloud creation. Of, yes. I think we're on the right path here then. Yeah, we're definitely on the right path, Stefan. And I, I am, I did see that your Mixi demo that you just talked about a little bit on the show floor, the Mixi, with that general purpose compute with VRAM Boost, I think is gonna do wonders in the market. And it was really cool how you were taking sensor information from a factory floor, using vision, and then combining it with Gen AI to deliver a business outcome. So with that, I definitely appreciate your partnership and uh, thanks for stopping well, by, man. Stefan. Thanks. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, let's go. Bye.